Hello Capricorn, Capricorn Rising. This is Ellie with your Love Focus Reading for September 2015. Now this month the angels have asked me to bring a message for you and choose some cards. So I'm going to shuffle them for you live on the video. Uh, now this is for your sun, your moon or your rising for Capricorn. Now this message that I hear is there's babies for some and it's a brand new era for others. Uh, we've also got four cards for you. Um, and this is a brand new start, a brand new end. Um, and we have babies. So um, let's start with the message from the angels. Fiona says that you've asked for help. Follow the clues, the messages in your thought streams and aha moments. Capricorn, if they keep sending you the same man, maybe you need to stop and, and see why. Or if it's the same woman. Uh, or if they're saying to you, you've gone down this path before many, many times. Get off the ride and start on a new one. They're also saying that you have asked for what you've got and they've sent it to you. Perhaps the question is, is this what I really want? Maybe you need to reassess who it is that you've been looking at or looking for. So end of an era. So single people, some of you will be ending that era. No more sowing your wild oats and moving on to couple them. For others that you are in a relationship already, moving on to the graduated natural level for you, whether that be moving in, getting engaged, having babies, um, or getting married um, moving on for you. Then there are some of you that have got an amicable split. Capricorn, for whatever reason that you have come into September, uh, there's talkings of or feelings of or signs of an amicable split. Now this could be someone quite shocking to you uh, or it can be you yourself that the, you know been in a relationship for a long time, a long marriage and um, coming to a, a, an end. This is, um, there's two eclipses happening, but I feel like this is the end of the 29 year cycle for some of you where uh, luck is going to change. Um, it's a brand new cycle, a brand new start. Now, Mystique says, this is the unicorn, this is the Mercury, this is the, uh, well, there is a Mercury retrograde going into uh, September, so it could be looking at exes, it could be rehashing, um, you know, seeing a counsellor, deciding if you're going to give it one more go. It could be um, for Elizabeth Taylor, you know, getting married to seven times to the same guy, you know, is that you? Um, keep charging your head and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So it's not all over. It's not all doom and gloom. If you're single, you think it's never going to happen for you. They're saying a miracle's going to come. Um, I feel like there's a cancer around this one, Capricorn. Yeah, definitely a cancer around this one. Uh, they're saying uh, comes to the uh, the cyclic conclusion. So. It's coming full circle. This is a cycle and it's coming full circle. A bit like the world card where it's completion, okay? Next card is have faith and hope. So whatever you're worrying about, and there are two. So beginning of the month, end of the month, there are these two eclipses happening. So the moon activity happening and, and they're saying that this is going to be quite um, uh, important for you. It's significant for you. Um... And whatever you're worried about, it may start off being something to worry about and the end is the conclusion is going to be fine. Or the start off is worrying and you don't get the information until the end of the month. So whatever it is for you, they're saying you have to have positivity and faith because the angels do everything for a reason. It has to happen the way it has happened. It's going this way because there's lessons to be learned. There's words that need to be said. There's uh, endings, conclusions, wrapping up. All of those different things, they have to be done to be able to get there, okay? Last card is about being powerful. I've had this card for about four signs, so please check your sun, your moon, and your rising. Now, this is a big month for you, Capricorn. So if you wanted a private reading, please go to my website, www.hypnoyouallie.com. Athena says, it is safe for you to be powerful and you know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. And I hear straight away, doormat. No more being a doormat. Whoever's been the doormat in this relationship needs to stop. So, 
Singles, you really do need to step up, be honest, be transparent. What is it that you need to change this month for things to have the conclusion that you want? Couples, whether you're, um, you know, happily married and things come up, there's dialogue. Something needs to happen for things to have that happy conclusion. Those of you going through a split, some of you will be doing the counselling and you'll find that it's no longer on the table. You want to come back together. And then there's the ones that will be having the split. But there's something happening, the healing process. The process is what's going to wrap things up for you. And I feel like for some of you, this is a 29-year cycle. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that and I shall see you next month.